Come on over, Wanda. I mean, that was just amazing. <laughs> Do you know what it reminded me of, what I wanted to do? Like, you know when you think of Brazil Carnival, the Rio yes. Carnival, that... Yes. Brazil, na 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 I just wanted to take With off the my costumes and, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Welcome to Thank the show. You. What, your voice is just outstanding. Thank you so really, much. So rich and beautiful. Thank you. When did you discover your, your sound and your love for music? Um, I'm from a musical family, first of all. My yeah. dad is a singer. Yeah. And I think I grew up in a musical home. I was always surrounded by musicians and music, 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 yeah. music. Um, I didn't know I was in it until I was in it. You okay. know, that kind of thing yeah. where it's something that called you. I did not choose it. Yeah. So, yeah, music just chose me. You know, you hear that story so often, and I think with a lot of really, really great musicians, they had that influence in their lives from a very young age. Yes. They had that, that, that kind of influence around them. So what was your upbringing like? Where did you live? And what was it like an, an, a regular day, like a Sunday lunch <laughs> like at your home? Oh, my God. Um, oh, I cute. Grew... Ah! <laughs> Wow. Okay, you classic. Classic. Um, I grew up in a very nomadic family, so we were constantly yeah. moving. My dad was a, is a musician, was a musician, so we're always moving from one place to another. I grew up in the concrete jungle of Joburg yeah. City, so I'm a city girl yeah. um, with parents that are from Mozambique. So I've got that cocktail African kind of influence. Yeah. Um, typical home is mostly musical, and my mom loved cooking. Yeah. And baking. Mo Mozambican food. Oh, yummy. Because oh, I'm Portuguese as well, so I get that. You speak Portuguese? I mean, I, I speak fluent is, is a stretch. Okay. But yeah, I can find myself home from a bar. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. So I'm from a definitely Mozambican background, Portuguese background. Yeah. So the food is highlighted at home. So we know good food. Yeah. We know good food. Yeah, and good food and good music goes yes, hand in hand. Absolutely. So when you were in it, when did you decide or how did it find you and or how did it call you that this was going to be your career and why jazz? Um, firstly, because I was raised in a home where the music was very open. So yeah. I, I grew up listening to a pool of different genres of music yeah. from your Salif Keita, Anita Baker, oh, your, so you know, so, uh, it, it was a, a Fela Kuti, it was a, it's a nice soup, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So for me to decide what genre I wanted, my source was definitely what I was listening to. And when I started my first, something that definitely came from my heart. Yeah, you certainly have worked with such incredible people. Tell us about your, your relationship, I suppose, with Brahim. Oh, wow. I used to claim he's my friend because that's how close we were. Yeah. Um, we had beautiful moments uh, at home cooking. I mean, he taught me how to make mojito. No way. I'm telling oh, you. Now, those are the memories and that really do you know, like, mean so much and in even, your life. Even, and it's not about sharing. It's not about telling and bragging. Yeah. It's about having those what memories an experience. for myself. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I had the privilege of being friends with him because of my um, my family, uh, uh, the Tladis, yeah. who were very close to him and they managed him. So we became close from then onwards. So we just chill. He loves food though. Yeah. Oh, he loved food. But you know what? There's something so special about a relationship where you, where you have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting to know that energy. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. And I mean, for me to say he told me how to make mojito, this was part of the yeah. process of cooking in the kitchen yeah. and grabbing the mint here while I'm chopping the onion there, you know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. And I'm really, really blessed to have had that moment. No, what a great experience. Those are such wonderful memories Absolutely. to cherish. So then you took a little sabbatical, mm -hmm. a hiatus from yes. jazz. Yes. Why did you do that? Um, I mean, I've been doing music uh, f since I was in school. Yeah. God knows how old I am. But <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for such a long time that I felt stagnant. Yeah. I felt like I hit a plateau. And I'm like, I don't want to do another thing that I've done before. I don't want to hear the same thing. Yeah. I need to... You're just over it. Yeah, I need to get yeah. out and come back again. You know, it yeah. happens. So that's when I decided to try something really out. <laughs> okay. And then enter... Miss Miss Chaco. Yes, Miss okay. Chaco. And so how did the name come about of your alter ego? Okay, um, the name came about from Yeovil. I grew up in Yeovil, yeah. and um, uh, my friends back then would call me Chocolate because yeah. obviously my complexion. I was the darkest of 
everybody. And um, that name stayed. So I dated a graffiti artist. Yeah. And I used to... <laughs> Your taste in men's eyes is good as mine. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> so I used to tag in the streets yeah. Choco. So my tagging name oh, wow. was Choco back, back then. Oh, that's so, so cool. I added the queen because I'm older and I've... And you're know, a queen. And I'm a queen. So I added the queen Choco and I'm like, yeah, it's still, it's still me. I have to tell you, you know, when you're rehearsing and doing the soundtrack, and all of you at home are going to love this, especially if you are big fans of, of the sound of music. I was shazamming left, right, and are centre. You oh, I was upset. <laughs> you are so good. Oh, thank so you. So now watching you do jazz, and then watching you like behind the DJ decks, you were just so good. But it just shows that music is in you, regardless of the genre. It's music still. Yeah. So I wanted to do something that is still music, yeah. but just a shift. You know what I mean? Just some because as humans we like different types of music. Sure. You can like jazz, gospel, uh, classic, yeah. house. You know what I mean? So it's still music. Are music fans, especially jazz music fans, are they transferable? They're very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult audience because they are, are what they like is what they like. Yeah. And it was a bit difficult <laughs> to convince them. That's why I had the two names, yeah. so that I don't mess with them as album. Working on Queen Choco on the side, I do sing house music as well. Yes! So I've worked with amazing <laughs> DJs, and I think that's my way of introducing Queen Choco as a DJ and a vocalist. Amazing. Yes. So you are still doing both? Absolutely. I mean, I can't, I cannot not do both because no. one day is what introduced me to yeah. this whole industry sure. and I love it's also another way of making extra income no it's genius because you, you you've now just opened up a whole different market Absolutely. and so different kinds of gigs and also nobody is just a music fan of one style of music no so as a musician, you would be limiting yourself to only be doing one, Absolutely. I think. Yeah, I would be robbing myself yeah. of the gift that God gave yeah. me. And you are so good at it. Thank I'm you. a huge, huge fan. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so happy you. to have you here. I wish I had ingredients for mojitos so that you could teach us. You know? <laughs> <use mojito. laughs> but next time, we'll next bring you time. back for that. We'll have a cocktail segment. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. I'm Thank looking forward you. to having you in the kitchen with me.